Hello guys, welcome, welcome back to American Truck Simulator. So today we're going to be using the uh, the MACR for our run today, for a mod review. Ready to roll. So let's get in and check it out. So the uh, MACR right now is using a Mac V8 12 speed transmission. We got some uh, Samsung watches. Let's see, we're going to um, Tacoma, Washington. A short little trip with people from Washington to Washington, so Turn right. Hope everyone's doing well. I do appreciate everyone to talk about last night for the live stream. Get ready to turn left. Turn left. Get us a thumbnail a little bit later on that route. Keep right and then turn right. Turn right. I started going to yellow truck this time. I hardly ever use yellow. I said, why not? You know, we'll, we'll change it up a little bit to a different color. Go ahead and get a thumbnail. Bring me in a little bit. Oh, that's too close. Bring you up and over. I think that'd be perfect right there. The limit right here is 45. Now I got this truck off of a mod, uh, off of ATS mod sites. Now this truck is made by Harvard. Now there is a version of this truck on the Sting Workshop. I don't think it has the uh, the cab, the, the uh, sleeper. This one actually hey, gives you options for the sleeper. Rerouted. We'll go over all that at the end. Of Weighs 61,858 pounds. I mean, for me, guys, I don't really use too many modern trucks. I, I drive for you guys because that's what you what y'all look like, and I understand that. So that's why I do a modern truck tonight when I do stream at ATS, so you guys can see different types of modern trucks models are making. Me, I, I prefer driving SCS trucks, but... But I'd say, uh, some of these model trucks like this one here is... I like this little truck. Oh, get ready to turn left. These little trucks here, these are workhorses right here.
boy a little side road driving here. Don't like a little country road driving. Sixty in here. Gotta get this truck up to 60. Here's the sound of that turbo. I love these engine packs, these uh, modern engine packs, where you can actually hear that turbo whistling. Some of them you can't hear, and that's actually so realistic. The wish to go that turbo. Got a pretty decent jig break in it too, it's not too bad. Got 144 miles to go. They are going to be working again with Western Star about something about heavy hauling. So they can, they've got something they're working on. Um, an update for the 49X for heavy hauling. So we're going to see what's going to happen with that.
get over and go across the scale. Alright, you gonna let it so My hand hit it. Sorry about that, guys. My hand hit it. Hit my keyboard. All right, sixty-one thousand seven hundred twenty-four pounds. So we get it up to 60. I wish the game had that, like dynamic weather. It would be so cool, like up here in the, uh, which this time of year you wouldn't have it, but up here in the mountains, up here in Washington, I'd love to see like snow. Maybe eventually we'll get that, because I really would like to see that in this game. miles out.
got, what, what do you, what trunk do you guys think that the SS is going to bring out next? Well, we pretty much know which one's going to be next. It's going to be the, the, uh, Kenworth, the next generation T680. like a boat float. Yeah, we we pretty much think we pretty much are sure that's uh it's the next truck they're gonna do is the T680. Then we'll probably get the uh, 579, the next generation 579. But we do know that they are working on a W990, so that you know that's something that's coming too. Uh, I'm not sure yet if they're working on the five, uh, the new 589. If they're working on the limited edition uh, 389. That's going to come. I'm not sure about Freightliner because I mean, actually Freightliner. Now, I may be wrong, but I, I looked it up and I could not find nowhere anywhere about all the trucks that I see that they had in production on the road was the Cascade. Now, they may still make the Columbus or something. I'm not sure about that, but I did not see it nowhere where I looked it up. I can't there. I would love to see them like, maybe make an older Freightliner, maybe another older Cascadia. Or even a century. I'd like to see them make it maybe a century or a. Uh, Keep right. And then it's it right. Or a classic. Put a lot of classic and local. And then make a classic. It's it right. I think we'll have to see that, but it would be nice for them. I mean, they made the uh, International 9900i. I mean, so they, they can do it. Stop scale, we keep rolling. Get our speed back up here. It's over. That's one thing I've noticed. It just has improved is a, you know, a little bit on the traffic. The traffic is a little bit better than what it used to be in the game. I've noticed that.
I see it. Let me just take a look here. on the truck a little bit better. Yeah, I see exactly where they want it. Won't be too bad. Let's uh, straighten up a little bit here. Normally, I go on the inside and do this. The only thing bad about this truck is that it may be because I got the seat slid up. Because I'm so used to using the SCS trucks that I didn't really adjust the seat. The mirrors are in such a far, so far back in the truck that you can't. You can't see anything out of the mirror. Look at these mirrors. See how far back they are? I guess I could have adjusted them a little bit. Maybe it would have helped. Alright, we drove excellent. We drove 194 miles. Took us 6 hours and 18 minutes to get here. We sent 45.9 gallons of fuel. Alright, so we're going to check out the truck. I'm going to show you the truck here. So, this is your Mac R series. The Mac R series for your cabs. You have multiple cab options. You have your, uh, this is your six, uh, R600 day cab with your double double lamps, which is like what the, it means, double headlights. That's your single. This is your, um, the double lamps R600 with a sleeper. Looks like what we're using right now. R600 with a single. Alright, then you have your R700 day cab for your double headlights. R700. Pretty much it, um, the whole thing, um, everything is pretty much about the headlights and the sleeper. Yeah, okay, there's your R700 single lamps. R700 double lamps. R700 single with a sleeper. All right, as far as your chassis, you have one chassis, a, um, a 6XX ST, your wheel bearing is a, a 235 wheel bearing, and then you have a 260 gallon tank. 
Now engines, I'm using a mods. A lot of the mods do support this truck. So you won't have the engines what I have, but there's multiple mod packs out there for engine packs if uh, you want to use this truck. I um, mean, because I'm running, it, some of these engines are like, le I would never use it, like 1100 horsepower. You know, this one here is T75 of this Cummins. I mean, so there's multiple engine packs out here that works on this truck. Which is good to see. Like, this is one of the one we was using, the uh, Mac V8. I was using, I believe I was using this one right here, the 500. Maybe it's 600 horsepower Mac V8. What we had up under the hood. But there's tons of engines for the, for the, for the I can't talk, for the truck. You see right here. Transmissions, you have a, a Maxi Torque, a Max Torque, TRL 1078 5 speed. You have an Eaton Fuller 12, 12, uh, yeah, 12.510 10 speed direct. You have another Fuller, a 12.5113 13. 13 speed direct you have another maxi uh, you have another Eaton Fuller RTOF and that's a 12 5 13 13 speed overdrive you have a, another maxi torque TRX L 107 6 speed and this is another maxi torque TR TRL TRXL 1071 6 speed. You have the uh, Allison transmission, the Allison HT uh, 740 automatic. That's, that's, I can't speak today. A, se a seven, 740D automatic. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, Allison Transmission 8. Yeah, the next one's going to be H. Uh, Allison Transmission HT 75 DD, uh, DRD automatic. Then you have your Maxi Torque TRDL 107 10 speed. You have another Maxi Torque TRDL 1070. 10 speed, and you have another Maxi Torque. Um, I'm, I'm thinking these Maxi Torques are uh, Mac engines, is what I'm thinking. I mean, I can't, not engines, uh, transmissions. Do you have another one that say a, a Maxi Torque TRT XL 1 of 7 12 speed? You have another Maxi Torque, it's a, t a t TRT XL 1 um, 10 70 12 speed. So that's all your transmissions that come from the truck. Interior, you only have two. You have the gray and black. Then you have the tan and gray, tan and brown. Colors, it does come with two um, two paint jobs that you can kind of change around. If you want to come from your standard colors though. That's the yellow we was using. You have your custom colors and your metallic colors. All that works for the truck. All right, so this is your options. This is um like your um bug shield. I don't know why I can't I can't uh, think today. I don't know what's going on. Here's your you can do a chrome one. You can do black chrome, plastic. You have different colors: purple, red, yellow. Blue and black. Oop, go back. I wasn't done. I don't know why I was doing that. All right. As far as your grills, you have your chrome grill. This is a painted grill. Another painted grill. This is a custom grill here. Another 
Not a bad little look on the truck. Your bumpers, you have a lot of different bumpers. You have a, a stock bumper, a stock chrome, a custom bumper, a stock painted, custom chrome, a heavy bumper, a chrome painted. You have a heavy chrome, a heavy painted, and a bull bar. All right, so you can put your um, air, air intakes on the side of the truck if you want them. They have the square ones like that. Or you have your round air cleaners like this. You have the painted. Like that. Mirrors, you have multiple different options for your mirrors. You have your stock mirrors. You have stock mirrors with the Bulldog. You want the Bulldog on there. Painted mirrors. You have your stock mirrors with the round little small mirror on the bottom. You have the stock mirrors with the round mirror, but with the bullet all, and then you have your painted mirrors with the round mirrors. Okay. This is your light adapter. You put um, lights up here on the top. We're not going to do everything on the truck. We're not going to buy the truck. So, now right, you have a sun visor. It has the matte logo. Without the matte logo, uh, you have it painted with the matte logo. This is your horn adapter. You put your horns up here. Has multiple horns. Come back like this, make sure. You have multiple. Okay, so you see here, you can put horns here too. I have seen some trucks with double horns like that. That wouldn't be. That actually would not be a bad idea. So you have two options for your horns. Let me go back to that. Come on. Right. You have um, horn adapter two and horn adapter one. It, it puts your horns. Well, horn adapter one actually does it too. I didn't. I didn't see that. Like, if you want to put one there and put one down here, you could, like, different types of horns. And so, not a bad idea. How about like that? Alright, so you can also put scoops up here on, on the hood, on the top of the truck. Or you can put a de deflector, like that. That's not like actually a scoop. You can put um, sleeper lights. I don't know why it's looking at alley lights. That's for beacons if you need to put a beacon on the truck, which I don't think it works. I did not see it. Oh, that's a blanket. I thought it was a beacon. No, it says a sleeper back spot. Oh, okay. That's where you put lights. Okay. I was not seeing that. Okay. Alright. So this is your exhaust. Your exhaust starts anywhere... Um, I stop on one side like this. It looks better on the on the side of the truck though. Uh, right side, black. And you, uh, now those don't look good at all on the truck. So you got multiple different types of exhaust. Yeah. Plenty of different types of sauce the sauce for the game for the truck. Alright, so inside oh, well, a couple more things. So for here you can put your uh, step. I don't know if you put one on this side, let me see. You can. You put a step on that side too. This is your fenders, like that. You can add those. You can change this back here out a little bit. Make that uh, chrome looking. Alright, so your tires. It's going to be your basic tires that would come with the truck. Now, I have some uh, modded packs for the rims. So, you'll see some stuff. That I have some stuff here that you'll see that you may not have. But it has multiple options for that. So, inside... You have three different steering wheels. You have your spoke, black spoke, and your modern steering wheel. You can put a gift there. And I think that's pretty much it for, for your inside goes. There's, there's a little sleeper in the back. You put your computer here. This is like for your GPS right there. You can change the um, this to plastic if you don't want it wood. 
You can actually change that. You can actually change this too to chrome. Your gauges all can be chrome instead of like plastic trim, which is pretty uh, pretty neat for a truck this old. Yeah. I think that's everything. Making sure here. I think you will. I don't think. Let me see. Is there an option for? Okay, yeah, it doesn't have an option for a CV, which is okay. Guys, we're going to wrap up today's video doing a mod review of the Macar. Great looking little truck. It has a lot of options. Uh, it's kind of a cheap, cheaper little truck if you want a really older truck like this. You don't want um, a truck like uh, Biker's 389. His uh, 389 does cause some frame rate issues. This is actually a nice little truck too. So, you know, like I said, the, this truck is on the Steam Workshop, but I don't think the version on the Workshop has the sleeper. I got this off of mod size AT. I mean, um, it's, I don't know why I can't talk today. ATS mod is where I got it. It has been updated 1.4.7 of the game. And, we'll, and that's going to be it for today. We'll see you in the next video.